So y'all, I tell you, um, I'm reading all of the news reports that are coming out and uh, since last night. And I tell you, so many news outlets are saying, wow, that was fast. You know, they're shocked at how fast this happened. I know one newscaster said that they're checking on it, but they don't think in all of history, uh, recent history, excuse me, that there's been a uh, lawsuit or a complaint brought against a media mogul that was settled so fast. They were naming, you know, like Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, you know, other where women have come forward and alleged abuse. And, um, you know, it went to trial versus, you know, all these things. So welcome back. My view, my opinion, the MVMO podcast. Let's continue talking about this as more information is breaking and everyone is having their reactions. Now, I will tell y'all, you know, all of us, I think all of us know that I, you know, I still want to call him Puff Daddy because when I grew up, you know, and his music was out, that's what we knew him as. So all these name changes. But we know that this guy did not want that discovery. He didn't want that. Can you imagine? There's no telling what all we would have found out. We would have found out just how deep and how long his sickness is. Because Cassie was with him for a decade. So she may have had video. Who knows, guys? She may have had photographs. She may have had documentation. She may have had something like that that would have come out in the discovery where then in discovery, they would have found out, okay, this is this is a criminal act here. This is a criminal act over there, X, Y and Z. And then criminal charges could have later been brought in a separate filing, which happens all the time. So. This guy avoided this whole discovery process by just paying her, you know, and paying off, you know, just whatever she got, 30 million, whatever. Some people say this possible that she could have got, could have gotten less than that. I don't know. It seems to me that she probably it's more than likely she got exactly what she was asking for. But I'm sure a part of that agreement, y'all, because some people are like, oh, now she's going to write the book. No, 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 no. I'm sure that if you know this guy, I wouldn't say is a smart man, but I would say if he has a shred of common sense. His attorneys would have negotiated the terms of that settlement, which is you can't you can't ever talk to the media. You can't ever write a book. You know, that's the thing about when you settle in situations like that, where you're saying you hurt me, you damage me so bad. Like she said in her initial complaint, I'm going to have to be <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I'm getting over a little cold. I'm going to have to be healing from this crap the rest of my life, you know, but when you stop and you just take a check that that really really does it it does nothing to help people and i know um some people i was watching one gentleman say you know she got her check you know um was it willie d no willie d was willie d did his live last night when it first popped off a lot of you know i'm a big huge willie d fan i follow his youtube uh page because i like to hear his commentary. I don't always agree to, with him. Um, like you don't always agree with me, but you know, I'm mature enough to understand. We're not going to always agree. Uh, what, what? That's just life, right? But I'll tell you a lot of men in particular have a very different and interesting reaction to this. But I will say this, y'all. For me, I will tell you, um, I think that when you get ready to do anything where you're going to expose somebody and let's not think about Cassie and Didi because y'all, we are not Cassie and Didi, okay? Let's think about us. When you get ready to expose something, whether you're getting ready to expose the racism that's happening on your job or you're getting ready to expose, you know, you fill in the blank. You got to count the cost. And when I say the cost, I don't mean money. I mean the emotional and the mental cost of what you're about to do. That's why when people get on um, lives or they get on Instagram or Facebook and they just go off. Just let their emotions go wild and then they try to delete it afterwards. Well, it's too late. Even if it's a family member, you know, uh, you got into it with your husband. So now you're going to get on a live, get on your Facebook and type all these messages that you're going to only later take down. So all of us have to learn how to control our emotions. But it's too late to count the cost once the horse is out the barn. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to really think about that. What's going to happen? That's why it's good to have wise counsel, invite people in who are older, wiser, or even not necessarily older, 
but who have more life experience in certain areas and say, this is what I'm about to do, or this is what I'm considering doing. Now, help me count the cost. What do you think I haven't thought of that could happen if I go out and say, or if I bring this lawsuit, or if I, you know, you know, go to human resources on the job or what have you. And unfortunately, I think so many of us, because of social media and all these things, a lot of people don't have enough wise counsel. They don't have their own kitchen cabinet where they can actually go and say, help me, help me see the sides of this that I just have not been able to see because of my hurt, because of my pain, because of my anger. Right. And so you got to do that. But I am, I have always been of the mindset that you got to be willing to expose yourself if you're going to help people. It's, it really is just the way that it is. There's no way around it. There's no way around helping people when you, when I'm ta- again, we're talking about exposing people. There's no way to do that without telling something on yourself or allowing that person to say, oh, well, did you tell them when you did da, 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 da? You got to be willing to say yes or say, no, I didn't tell them, but I'm okay with you telling them. You see, what I'm saying is you can't, you got to understand that it takes a certain level of bravery and courage to come out and say X, Y, and Z happen, knowing that your business is going to come out in the process. And I'm telling you guys, I said this before when we were hanging out, a lot of people think that it's fear that keeps people from coming forward. And I'm not saying it's not fear. Get your crap out the way. I'm saying that more often than not, it's people who don't want to be embarrassed. How many, child, I can't tell you how many parents suspected their child were being, was being sexually abused by their father, their uncle, their cousin. And well, if I tell it, then he's going to be embarrassed. It's going to bring shame on the family, you know, not even thinking about I can stop the damage right here. Not only can I help my child heal, but I can st- I can stop this person from having the ability to hurt anyone else. Right. And so there's a whole lot to be considered. Right. There's a whole lot to be considered. But personally speaking, um, this was just, you know, all Cassie has done um, in this instance is show people the roadmap to get in his pocket. That's all she's done because now what's going to happen is it's not, people aren't going to get healed from this. That's not healing is not going to happen from this. What's going to happen from this in my view, my opinion, which is all this is, is that there are going to be now tons of women who come out the woodwork, maybe a few men who say, I want my paycheck too. And so they're going to pull a lawsuit, not intending to go forward with it, but they know he's not going to want discovery or whatever. And he's going to have to shut down all these people. So I guess, you know, we could say, well, could, could it be a situation that could turn into uh, various women coming out, just draining his pockets? Well, I don't know if that'll work. Because then the legal system could say, okay, these are frivolous lawsuits. Because when you do, you know, I assume that this girl must have had some real hard evidence that scared the bejesus out that dude to where he settled overnight or yeah, settled overnight. But these other women, let's say the abuse with them happened, you know, 10 years ago, like hers, or maybe 15 years ago. And the statute of limitations is not out. Well, where is your proof? Do you still have it? Do you still have any proof? Do you have anything or did he already pay you off already under the table and had you sign some sort of NDA where you said, I'll never talk to the media. I'll never do. And see, that's another thing about settling. When you do settle, you have to make a lot of concessions. A lot of people don't know that they think settling is just an easy thing. No, you have the, the, there are terms of this settlement, meaning there are going to be things after you get this check that you will never be able to do. Or you're going to violate the terms of the settlement and then that person can come after you financially and say, OK, now where's my money? I gave you because you broke the agreement. So there's a whole lot and um, there's a whole lot that goes on. And I know some people were saying, too, I know Willie D's crowd were saying, well, he if he did anything, if he didn't do anything wrong, why did he settle? And a lot of people see it that way, too, because a lot of people feel like if I didn't do anything wrong, like I'm like Willie said, I'm never going to settle. I'm just too hard headed for that. I would feel that way, too. Like, I'm going to fight this till I die. If I if you accuse me of stealing your money or whatever, and I know I didn't do it. I don't care. We going we going to till the till the end. 
But sometimes people settle for other reasons. But in this case, I think most of us can agree that this guy settled because what the girl was saying was true. Maybe she had hard evidence of what she was saying. Maybe her attorneys just said, take a look at this. This is something that could come out in discovery that the world would see or the world would be able to read the text or whatever or see the video snippet of. And, you know, that was the end of it. But no, this this doesn't help anybody. This doesn't help anybody. But Cassie, you know, and you get your money. But some people think money will pay me for my pain. I saw somebody here say that pay me for my pain. I know that sounds real great and it sounds real funny and it's kind of cute. But, you know, you can't pay anybody for their pain. You can't pay anybody for their pain. See, that's just that's just something that uh, is, a uh, you know, I don't know, whoever originated that, whatever community that originated in. It sounds real great, but but you you can't pay anybody. Think about you. Those of you listening to me who were sexually abused or who were in an abusive relationship, could you ever be paid for your pain? Meaning, does payment do anything for the pain you went through? Of course it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. That's why I was saying earlier, oh yeah, she got her money, but that doesn't do anything for her healing. It does nothing for healing. You can't be paid for your pain. I can't be paid for mine either. You have to walk through the hard hard knocks of healing. And when it depends on how deep and how dark the abuse was, just how long the healing will take. And so, you know, I think people throw out these things and they, you know, it's ha ha ha, but it's like, girl, please, you can't pay nobody for their pain. If he really did do the things that she said he did, and and that's just the stuff she put in in her complaint, God only knows what all else went on. This woman is carrying around his demons. And see, that's the thing about sex that I, um, when I was growing up, they taught this to us, that sex is not just an act. You're literally joining yourself to whoever this person is. That's why sometimes I look around and I, I wonder, why do women have babies by certain men? Don't they understand that that child is carrying his DNA? So the very things you hate about him that you saw in him, that now is in that child. And you can hope that you raise them well enough to abort those things. But that now that is now in them. So we think, you know, this sex act is just that's why I'm like, you know, I know that there are women who teach. It's OK for women to sleep with this one and that one. Have your fun. Do you men done it for years or decades? Now you go do it. Yeah. But, you know, it's just not that simple. You know, when you when you have sex with somebody, whether they're covered up or not, and you know what I mean, they are coming into you. Who he is, is coming into you. You're not going into him. See, as women, we are receivers. And so if he's a cheater, if he's gay, if he's whatever, if he is a, 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 a just somebody who's going to be the a, the most evil criminal in the world or whatever, that's all wrapped up in his DNA. And you're taking that in and you're going to birth that out. And like I said, you can do a great job raising. I've seen that happen where a man was a terrible guy, but the woman, her father, her grandfather, maybe some uncles came in and just really uh, helped raise that child to such, uh, you know, uh, to be a great person. So that's why that's what I mean by you can abort the seed that was planted, but never don't ever forget it is a seed that's being planted in you that's going to grow up and sprout. And so then when you see your children have certain problems, you're going to be able to trace it back either to yourself or to that man, because it's just like him putting a seed in the ground or me and you putting a seed in the ground, it's only going to grow up what was in the seed. It's not going to be some other thing. I don't know what people think about the these things nowadays. I, I listen sometimes when I'm out and about to young people talking and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to purposely get pregnant. And I'm like, OK, do they realize if it's a tomato seed and you put it in the ground, that's all you're going to get? It's a tomato seed. You're not going to get an apple. OK, you're not going to get a cherry. You're going to get a tomato seed. So. I don't know, guys, a lot of reactions are going on. People are doing some great, great commentary. I encourage you to go uh, listen to Willie D live. Go and listen to some of your other favorites and just, you know, kind of see kind of what's going to happen. We'll just have to watch this in the news as well and see what else comes out. 
But yeah, it's a done deal. And now he's opened himself up, up for many more lawsuits, but we'll have to watch and see. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later.